It's on Friday Football Fever. Brought to you by Arizona Health Exercise Equipment. How's your energy, Southern Arizona? It is now time for the highly acclaimed, much anticipated Friday Football Fever. Good evening to you. I'm Paul C. Carlo. We will check in with Ari Alexander in just a bit. Let's begin the night with a battle for gold. I love gold! <laughs> as in auto, as in the battle for Oro Valley Bragg and Rice. Yes, Ironwood Ridge would host Canyon Del Oro in North Pima County tonight. That's right, gotta love rivalry games and the Hawks Nest represented strong at Ironwood Ridge, but they'd see the Dorado's Elijah Carey, Kadeem Carey's little brother, busting out with a big game. Back to the Nighthawks, Ironwood Ridge's very own Andrew Cook brought out his secret sauce, spicing it up for a nice game. He got there. Later, midair, do you dare? Jaden Price doesn't care. He will take the ball to the house, I do declare. Ironwood Ridge is in business, but back to the Dorados again. Elijah Carey running strong for a first down. How's this sound? Sounds like a tough loss for Canyon Del Oro. You see the final, ouch. 24-21, Ironwood Ridge. All right, on to the Kino Sports Complex we go, where Tucson High has been hosting its games as it home field remains damaged from rain. And off the bat against South Point, check out quarterback Jesus Montano scramble forward and then look closely. Joshua Fossils will cause the fumble. Tucson High's Ismael Ballesteros going for the ball at the bottom of the pile. South Point would later get the ball right back. And how about quarterback Rodrigo Nieto handed the ball to Bijan Robinson McLeod and It'll be a first down after everything said and done. Let's fast forward to fourth and goal on the one yard line and Robinson McLeod will be stopped by David Lopez. Defensive stand for the Badgers, but in the end, South Point wins 27-0. Hey, we'll keep it on the south side, heading west down Ajo to Pueblo High School for a rivalry game between the Warriors and Choya. Let's send things over to Ari Alexander. Hey, Paul, this is a good battle on the south side because Choya much improved. Two and one this season. Pueblo, though, has had a solid Brandon Sanders-led squad. And look what I found. A wild Pikachu appears at Pueblo. I caught him. You may think he may be hot in the costume, but man's not hot. Man's can never be hot. To the first quarter, game tied at seven. Choya driving, and when Jordan Porter is throwing, you got to catch them all. Touchdown for Devin Stubblefield, 13-7 Choya at that point. Pueblo's Ruben Rivera would have a big game, breaking off a 50-plus yard run all the way down the sideline. This would lead to a Pueblo score and a 14-13 Warrior lead. Then check out Rivera on defense. Boom! Lays the hit stick on the Choya Bull Carrier. Pueblo goes on to win 66-46. On to Amphi, who is down 27 nothing at halftime to the Ravens of Empire High. That big man, David Watson, committed to play to the U of A. Empire in the red zone. Isaiah Sierra up the middle. Quote the Ravens, it's a score. 34 to nothing, Empire leads. Amphi would have lots of trouble in this one. Snap is high. Recovered by Will Helwig in Panther territory. That's going to lead to this. Empire running the end around to Q Washington. And quote the Ravens. It's a score. 41 0. Empire wins big. We're back to our game of the week. CDL uh, Iron Ridge. Let's talk rivalry. Super Bowl. Uh, do you like CDO? Uh, okay, non committal. Yeah. The Oro Valley Super Bowl, the rivalry game. So, do you guys like CDO? No! Green Machine has traveled. Yes, you guys sir. have a little student yeah. section here. Right. We travel well. Do you guys like Ironwood Ridge? No. 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 We hate that. No. no. Who do you think would win in a fight between a Nighthawk and a Dorado? You? Because you have the, the air advantage? Ari, fitting right in with those high schools. You look like you're still in high school, my man. All right, changing gears to a couple of teams that had high expectations heading into the season, both Sunnyside and Mountain View have experienced some humbling losses. The Blue Devils came in at one and two, while Mountain View was hoping to avoid losing its second game in three outings. And right off the bat, Mountain View busts out with some magic spellsers, some trickery. QB Jose Maria Alcala gets it to Joseph Pena, who instead of running it, throws it to Joshua Hart. First down, Mountain View. After that, Mountain View's offense will fool everyone, including our cameraman, me. Check it out on the right. Edward Castellum would end up scoring right there on the right side of the screen. Mountain View would lead 8-0 after the converting the two-point conversion. 
tough night for Sunnyside this evening. The Blue Devils fall to 1-3 after the loss to Mountain View 29-6. Hey, it won't get any easier for Coach Roy Lopez and Sunnyside. Next week, the Blue Devils will have to travel to the Tucson Power South Point while Mountain View hits the road for Tucson High. We're far from over with after the break. Morana aired it out at Saguaro. Plus, we'll head to Vail as Sienega hopes to stay unbeaten. Could no Gallus High pull off the monumental upset? And Catalina Foothills continues strong, hosting the Flowing Wells Caballeros. Plus, it's our Friday Football Fever Play of the Week. We roll on.